three, two, one. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with Goat Piece. We got episode 1114. And last episode, we finally got the reveal of Blackbeard's plans after capturing Kobe. And Big Garp just pulled up to save him. Yeah, hey amen. We say it all the time. What a time to be an anime fan. But in this case, what a time to be a subscriber of this channel. I'm not going to lie. It's always a movie when we get to do these. But especially when One Piece drops. I mean, damn. Like he said, Garp pulled up. And if you're here, then you already know what's cooking. This episode is supposed to be a banger. And we about to find out. Hell yeah. It's definitely going to be one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, man, you know man. Garp and Garp pulled up on the smoke, so it's about to get active. Let's ride. Let's get it. Garp's bottom. Mm. For the beloved pupil, the fist of Vice Admiral Garp. Conqueror hockey is useful in scenarios like this. Hell yeah. Just knock all them niggas out. Like, the disappointing part to me is that even withholding that ball, I feel like he should still be able to fuck them all. Yeah, no, nah, it's hard to imagine this is life or death. You ah, it wouldn't matter. The fuck? Nine years? I was just about to say that nigga look like Vega Punk. Wow. Kind of like Cracker's Biscuit, but made of mud. Yeah, it's like, it's like Cracker and Caribou Shoes. Hmm. Nigger 
こっから出られねえぞ<笑>やればできるんじゃないかさあいつでもおいでポスト、ジャスラクトレマスター。クリス・クロス・アポソーサーのフォー。OK です。ガープ中将。ど真ん中に来い There he is. Shoot, see, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's insane. His whole version of the cool they burst. Wow. That nigga punched the, the air and it made the water do waves and threw the boat. This nigga just did his own version of the cool they burst. Go be taking his sweet ass time to get out of there. That's what I'm saying. Hey. Bitch, I thought your life was on the line. I mean, I know your, your people pulled up, but. Damn, nigga. Oh, damn. Like that? I thought he was just gonna get close. He about to crash that bitch? That's what I thought. Yo, what a punch. <laughs> Garp still got it. Like, he about to crash that bitch. Like, my nigga, did you have a plan? Nigga plus ultra? What happened to the rest of the sword, bro? Because they were they were literally right there. What was it like in his prime? Bruh. Look at Kobe. Yeah, I'm about to say, like, nigga, your own people was in that. Oh, 
Oh shit. Bro, look at that shit. Like, bro, like, <laughs> he just fucked yeah. up his own people. Like, Okay, good shit. I'm about to say, how is he about to land that? Okay, that nigga just came in the club. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, bro, like, this shit about to explode. Ooh, that's hard. I'm gonna get it back in the water. Shit, sure, he probably gonna, like, mudslide that bitch back here. Do that or punch that bitch. No, I can't do that. He's blowing up. <laughs> that ship is so hard. It does. But that's one attack. Nigga just pulled up to Yonko territory. Not to go no. So he's had to flex like that. I'm off my game. Take that ball off that nigga, man. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of respect him up Meppo for somewhat keeping up with Kobe. Time shit. Time shit. Because, oh boy, where did he start from? That's some hating Oh shit. Oh shit. Is she gonna shatter? Oh, good catch. She almost shattered. Mama, that's a bad man. Are they about to fight? Are they about to fight, bro? <laughs> Oh man. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh 
I'm about to say, there's only one ice nigga in the show, and everyone knows who it is. Let alone who's capable of doing some shit like that. Yeah. Oh, he fucked up this crew. Damn, pressing his ass. I don't know if I'm going to do it. 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 Okay. Big Garp literally hopped off the ports or deck in this case. And yeah. Well you want to talk about destructive power. That nigga said, Oh, I'm rusty. Like Yeah, like Okay. What this showed me is that Garp is still top tier, even out of his old age. Now I still think he's bottom of the barrel top tier. I think he's just like prime beard at Marine Ford or not prime beard, white beard at Marine Ford. That version of white beard is still top tier, just bottom of the barrel of the top tier. Realistically, losing in any 1v1 fight to any top tier member, whether it be an Admiral Yonko. I think Garp right now is a dog ass nigga and he just showed that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like he clearly showed he still got it. Hell yeah, like that impact. It, you know the the similarities to Luffy were uncanny in this episode, starting from when he was sitting on the uh. the front of the boat like that, crisscross applesauce. I mean, that's literally what Luffy be doing. But charging in without really having a plan in mind to the point where his own ship that he launched. I don't know if he just knew bro was going to do that or if bro just came in clutch and saved the boat. I think he crashing. came in the clutch. Yeah, like, I think he came in the clutch. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Garp is actually a real wild nigga. He's a real wild dog for this entire episode. Like, now I see where Luffy gets it from, just like his grandpappy. Like, I'm not going to lie. Garp, I'm not really sure what goes through your head. Like, first things first, your own version of the coup they burst was tough. But... Yeah. Nigga, what happens if that nigga wasn't there to save y'all? <laughs> like, I'm thinking it's going to land in some water or some shit. Like, I, I thought he was going to land right in front of the island and then jump off the boat. Nah, the boat was landing in that bitch. Like, hmm. if he's not there, the boat explodes. Like, there's Dang. no shit left. So it's At like, least he came in the clutch, just like all the other sword members. Like, I'm not going to lie. You said it during the episode. I'll say it again. It's a little bit damning that Kobe's life was in danger to those father, but shit happens. He was chained down. I guess the real surprise here is that Kobe has not learned advanced armament. Otherwise, he would have took the shackles off. I mean, Garp even looked at him like, damn, nigga, you still got it on? Hell yeah, and I'm thinking like just some regular shackles. It's literally just a ball and chain. Like Even with, without advanced armament, I would figure he could still break that. If not break it, like, it shouldn't hinder him to fodder. That's yeah, my thing. Like, yeah. Like, the fact that I his life was in danger. I, I don't niggas. care if he had two balls on his feet. If you are not a, like, if you're actually him in this verse, you don't, and by, here's the thing. When we say him, you don't got to be top tier. You don't got to be first commander. If you're at least third commander level in the One Piece verse, you could beat your chest and say you're him. There's not too many niggas that can actually fuck with you. Like, Kobe, I, I would play some high second, but that's just me. But regardless of where you play some, like, the brother is clearly 
at least progressed enough. You would think that that wouldn't be enough, but hey, shit happens. Look, and and that's the thing is like we're not saying that Kobe's weak by any means, but that's why that's disappointing is because we know he's strong. So that shouldn't have made him in a life or death situation with niggas of that caliber with guns. Yeah, he got like, saved by flowers. Yeah, like that's where it's kind of disappointing. Because it's like, nigga, if you don't swing that ball and chain around and knock them the fuck out. Yeah, get busy with that bitch. Like, you could do it. But overall, this was a fantastic episode, especially when the new frosty boogeyman himself pulled up at the end. Hell yeah, especially like I was really wondering how him and Blackbeard linked up and we kind of started to get the gist of how that happened like apparently Alkiji was just chilling. His crew was on some fuckery. He basically yeah. one shot at all of them and then was just posted. Yeah, pretty much. And Blackbeard walked in and said, nigga, what the fuck are you doing? Unfreeze my crew. Like, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> And here we are, Alkiji's with Blackbeard of all people. And I don't know if he's about to fight Garp. It seems that way. See, it's scary because Blackbeard's crew is arguably the strongest crew just because of that. Just because they have two top tier members. Now, the Straw Hats will have two top tier members in the future. But I don't think Zoro's top tier yet. By the time they fight the Blackbeard Pirates, his ass better be. Otherwise, Aokiji's going to wax that ass. But I'm taking this Aokiji and Garp rocking out as Admiral Height, especially Aokiji. Like, I'm taking, and I only said it because Garp's out of his prime. But mm. I'm really taking this as Admiral Height. We just left the Yonko saga. Now it's time to move on to the other side of the fence. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Like, Aokiji in Marine Ford, we saw him with the little uh, freezing the tsunami and that type of thing. Other than that, he didn't really do shit. Like, we've seen him freeze the ocean over and ride his bicycle across. We've seen him one shot the yeah. shit or freeze the straw hats when they first met. Other than that, he, like, we know about the fight with Akinu. But we didn't Yeah, we know it. about it. But it's like, damn, we want to see it. This exactly. is the closest thing we're going to get to see from Aokiji fighting someone. And then on the other side of the fence, nigga, it's literally Garp of all people. Hell yeah. Someone with no devil fruit that just be throwing them bitches. The king of hands himself. Hell yeah, and I cannot wait to see it. But overall, this was a very, very good episode. If you had to rate it out of 10, what would you give it? 10 out of 10. Fantastic. Broke my scale. All that other shit. Like... I'm not gonna lie, I don't know who animated, who animated this episode, but they deserve a raise, especially for that galaxy impact. Wow, that shit looked beautiful. And I don't know if they just plan on spamming Garp's moves like that every single time, but I'm here for it. Like, you wanna talk about entrances? Garp just made a top ten, top five entrance in One Piece. And Absolutely. arguably one of those entrances in anime too. If it wasn't for how stacked One Piece is, it would be up there. But he just pulled a Marine Ford. I think this entrance was a little bit better than the one at Marine Ford. Like, as crazy as that is. It was last like, year, 100%. Garp, hell yeah. Like, Garp went crazy, and then you want to talk about everything else. Like, this was a fantastic episode, and I would give it a 10 out of 10. Hell yeah. Starting with, I'm, I'm right there with you by default, 10 out of 10. Execution. Like, I mean, I literally ripped my headphones out of my PC. I got so hyped. Like, that's the type of episode this was. That's the type of move that Garp just pulled off. I literally said it while we were watching it. The shit looked like the fucking uh, United States of Smash for a second. And yeah. then it went so far beyond that. I'm like, dog. Like, they literally started showing the stars in the solar system. Like, literal galaxy impact. Let mm. alone the destruction it caused. Garp not even giving a fuck that his people are down there. Like, oh yeah, y'all strong enough. Y'all shouldn't die from that. Like... Blowing them all away along with the fodder pirates that were down there. Like, it was an amazing entrance, like you said. Him him landing like this. Like, mm -hmm. everything about it was amazing. Let alone seeing Aokiji pull up and almost catch a body immediately. Like, if Kobe didn't catch her, she would have died. Because she would have hit the yeah. floor and broke. So it's like, that is set up for... 
something immaculate I'm already knowing. So, 100% this episode is a 10 out of 10. Hell yeah, hell yeah. This was easily one of the best episodes seen execution-wise for One Piece. Absolutely, but hey man, let us know in the comments what you think about this episode. I'm sure you enjoyed it as much as we did, and if that's the case, hit the like button so we know that you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the bigger subscribe yeah. button if you haven't already, and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss episode 11, 15, or any of our other special videos. We drop straight bangers on this channel. So make sure you guys tap in with us. With that being said, make sure you guys click on our description. There will be two links yes, waiting sir. for you. One will take you to all of our socials, Sons of Tokyo on every platform. The other one will take you to our Discord. You feel me? Come on in. Come on in. You know what I'm saying? Join that Discord. Come vibe out with us. Talk about anything, anime, non-anime, sports, movies. It don't matter. But, uh, yeah, man. With that being said, SOT out.